Hello everybody for another short European shirt and I thought I'll go to another one that I really love to wear uh, but not that much anymore because of um, wear and tear and this is the World Cup winning jersey by Spain in 2010. If you've seen my World Cup thoughts on when Spain was beaten by Russia this year I showed you this jersey already. This is one of my absolute absolute favorite jerseys. And what I love, and similar with the France jersey, doesn't have the star here. This is actually, it's not actually, but you know, this is what they wore when they beat the Netherlands in the final. Uh, a final that I was very excited about because I saw the Dutch in a final. Who thought about that? This was the first time that happened for me. And I went to Spain and I was so excited about the jersey matchup because I really love this jersey of Spain. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought it's black and that I wouldn't have liked, but when I saw that this is this navy blue, oh, this what became my favorite jersey at the World Cup. That and the France away jersey that you've already seen. Um, there are so many details here that I absolutely love and I was excited about the, uh, I go back to the matchup because I knew that I didn't know, but I had the feeling that the Dutch will play in all orange, which is always nice. I didn't like the black pants. I don't like the Dutch wearing black pants. I like it better with uh, all orange or white pants. And then Spain in all navy. And this was what I was longing for. And I got it. That the game absolutely sucked. Is a downer. Um, that game could have been a great one if the Dutch would have played the Dutch style. But yeah, Spain was the best team at the time. And I think it was two years too late at Euro 2008. That would have been a wonderful semi-final, but it wasn't to be. The Russians were better. And against the Dutch, I mean. Um, yeah, navy, navy, navy. I like the, here the collar, especially with this little inset. So we have a Spanish flag here. I like the striping here on the side. Um, the collar is underrated, I think. It's, I call it Mandarin style, you know, uh, Chinese traditional clothing was a little bit like that. Um, I love that the crest here, I mean, the Spanish crest is uh, the coat of arms is always a beauty. Uh, how it's nicely in the shield and actually fits. You have the dark navy. Uh, when they pull it out for Euro 2008, uh, it was not, not so great because it seemed a little bit stark, but here it fits perfectly. Uh, also that it contrasts well with the number and of course number six we know who wore that in Yesta. So that's nice. Um, the lettering style I didn't like. That's the only downside for this. If they would have had a better style, uh, it knocks it out of the park. Um, it also has these ventilation holes here. It's of course the replica version and yeah at the cut this was what Adidas did in the early 2010s that you know it was kind of always thinning towards the bottom. Um, I like the striping continues here so you have this badge it looks a little bit and I'm not a military guy at all but it looks like a uniform and that actually makes it a better look um, here. I have been thinking and probably I should do it maybe if I can get the patches for the World Cup on here that would be a really nice add-on um, but yeah it looks already perfect the way it is and this is a jersey uh, that I wore a lot I got it when I got together with my now wife so happy memories there as well and yeah another nice feature here is the back it does the fonts don't fit that's the only thing that I don't like but uh, look at the nice RFEF for Spain and yeah, then you see the lettering. It's kind of weird and you already see if you go a little bit closer. It's maybe a little bit too much glare here, but there is some wear and tear on this number. It's not as bad as for other jerseys, but the six here is definitely coloring off. Maybe if you can see it here. Nah. It's really hard for the camera to pick that, uh, that one, but I see it and I want to preserve this jersey. It's an absolute favorite of mine. And I probably have to do something find a way to preserve the numbers. I have some ideas, um, have to try them, but I don't want to try them right away on my favorite jerseys. I want to do this on a, you know, some fabric glue or some could maybe do wonders here. Uh, but I have to look in the internet a little bit more. Absolute beauty.
absolute freaking beauty. Uh, another 10 star short for me. Again, the lettering I wish was better. Everything else, I wouldn't change a thing. I really wouldn't change a thing, and that says a lot. My favorite Spain shirt, a year later they brought, uh, issued the same in white instead of navy blue, which also looks nice, but this one wins it. I think, I wish Spain would keep this look. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey, if you have any memories with that particular jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.